In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of mixed costs. So we've discussed previously about fixed costs, and we've talked about variable costs and how these costs behave when there are changes in the activity level, like we produce more units at our firm and so forth. And with fixed costs, we're basically saying that uh, our cost is just going to remain constant. It's going to remain the same regardless of how many units that we produce, right? We produce 1,000 units, we produce 500, and the cost is going to remain constant. It's going to remain fixed. When we think about variable costs, uh, they're actually increasing. So just plot this out. They're increasing as we produce more units, as the activity level changes, the cost goes up. Now with mixed cost, uh, we're actually, I'm just going to, you know, briefly sketch this out for you. So we've we've got components of both fixed and variable costs, right? So sometimes people actually call mixed costs semi-variable costs. Uh, and, and the way that they behave is we basically got a fixed component, let's say right here, right? So instead of starting at zero and going out, uh, we're actually going to start right here and then now here. So basically we, here's our cost, let's say, and then here's our activity level. And so our cost is going to be some amount that's not zero, right? So but this is the fixed component is right here. That's the, the fixed component. But then as we have a change in activity level, uh, we're going to go up. So it's, it's actually easier if we just walk through an example. It'll make it a little easier for you to understand. So let's say that we have a school district, right? So we've got an elementary school, and they've got a fleet of buses to transport the kids to and from school. So there's going to be some element of maintenance involved in terms of uh, keeping that bus fleet up and running, right? Now, when we think about the bus maintenance costs, we can actually kind of parse this into two different components. Uh, one we could think about is, well, we're going to need some kind of mechanic, right? So we hire a mechanic, and let's say that we pay this mechanic uh, $40,000 a year salary. So 40000 salary. And then in addition to this, though, we don't just need a mechanic. We're actually going to need uh, things like, like spare parts, right? So let's say that the engine goes bad on, on one of these buses and the mechanic needs to replace it. Uh, well, we're going to need another engine. So when we think about things like an engine, a water pump, different things that could go wrong uh, on this bus, uh, those spare parts are actually going to vary uh, with the amount of problems that we have with the buses, right? If we have five buses that need an engine, then we're going to need five uh, engines. Whereas the number of mechanics, we just got this one mechanic, right? So the one mechanic is going to handle the whole fleet. So this is this is really the fixed component, right? So this is a fixed component of our bus maintenance cost, right? That's just going to remain constant. That's going to be that base level of 40000 no matter what. But uh, we're going to have a variable cost with regard to spare parts, right? Because if we don't have any buses break down, uh, then this part would be zero. But if we have a ton of buses break down, uh, we're actually going to see the amount of uh, spare part costs going up as the number of buses uh, break down. So if we wanted to plot this out here briefly, let me just change colors. So now if we look at our axes, and then we'll have up, up here is our cost. And then here is, is our activity level. And with activity, we're thinking about the number of buses that, that break down and our, basically our bus maintenance cost. So we're going to we're gonna start right here, and then we're going to go up. And right here, what this is going to be is that's going to be that 40000 that we're paying to this mechanic, right? So that mechanic is going to get the 40000 no matter what happens uh, with how many buses break down. This is the fixed component of this cost, of this bus maintenance cost. The fixed component is $40,000. But the variable component is right here, right? As the number of buses uh, that break down increases, we're actually going to have more and more bus maintenance cost. And so it's going to be increasing. It's going to be increasing with the number of buses uh, that break down. Now, it's not always easy for us to parse out and say, okay, well, what is the fixed component? Uh, of this mixed cost and what what is the variable cost component of the mixed cost right here we have this as a given so so we know that but there actually might be multiple things in play here and it might be kind of difficult for us uh, when we're looking at a mixed cost uh, to determine you know what's the fixed cost component what's the variable cost component so we actually have a couple different ways of doing that one is we can do uh, use regression analysis and then another way is using something called the high low method which we're going to talk about in our upcoming